What do we got here? I found uh, at a foreclosed house that I bought. I was kind of cleaning out a bunch of junk in there and came across this book in a, a closet kind of stuff in the back corner. And uh, boom, that's what I came across. Whoa, a Martha Washington $1 bill. This is pretty amazing. She looks really like George Washington, though, doesn't she? <laughs> sure, a little respect. I'm just saying that her hair sucks, that's all. Hmm. Coming to the pawn shop today to sell this dollar that I found with Martha Washington on it. I'm hoping to sell the dollar for about 1500 bucks. It'll be a nice little cushion. I'll probably buy something cool, you know, uh, maybe a hot tub or a pool table or something like that to put the go with the house. This is back when we used to care about what money looked like. <laughs> yeah, this is gnarly. This is technically the only woman that's been on a US bill. I mean, they just announced that they're most likely going to put uh, a woman on the $10 bill now. I heard, I heard that. No, it's just in incredibly good shape. Luckily, it was in this in this book. How much are you looking to get out of it? Uh, you know, I looked online a little bit, and um, what I could see is, is it, you know, was worth around 1500 bucks. I mean, it's in really good shape. Do we need to get it graded? Well, that, that's the weird thing. When it's in this good of shape, you really do need to get it graded. But there's 10 grades of a pristine bill. I mean, this thing can be worth anywhere from between 1000 and 10000 10000 Oh, my gosh. It, it, it all depends on how it grades out, and there's a lot of variables when it comes to paper money. I have a friend who's in town right now, and he grades bills. When I get him down here, he'll tell me what grade it is and help me out on the price a little bit, and we'll go from there. Okay? Perfect. Sounds good. Thanks. Be right back, friend. So hearing that it could be worth $10,000, I'm pretty stoked. Um, that'd be amazing. Grading paper money is a really, really tricky business. So I'm calling in a friend of mine who does this for a living. How's it going, buddy? Hey, Rick, how are you? How's it going, man? Nice to meet you, Peter. Hey, Brian. Uh, this is the, you know, Martha $1 bill. It's in it's in great shape, and um, but it's that <laughs> weirdness with paper money and um, you guys and your little grading weirdness. Sure, sure. <laughs> this is fantastic. My name is Peter Trillia and I work for a company called Stax Bowers Galleries. I'm an expert in rare United States paper currency. Well, this is an 1891 $1 silver certificate. Well, the overall condition is pretty fantastic, actually. Grab your tray real quick. Yeah, please, thank you. I brought my light here. OK, so as you know, paper currency is it's very fragile, um, unlike coins. You can kind of fool around. You can iron. You can enhance uh, the condition of a bill. But. Well, this is actually really, this is really, really high grade. At first glance, uh, appears to be flawless. And if so, could be worth upwards of $20,000. Wow. Um, it, it is an absolutely awesome condition. The, the best a bill can be is gem crisp uncirculated. And the worst is a pour. And this is kind of towards the top end of the range. OK. However, it does have a slight, very slight center fold, uh, which takes it out of, the, out of the uncirculated category. It is not in the top range. As far as value, I would put a conservative retail value around $1,500. OK. But it's a cool find here. Yeah, I mean, I'm stoked. I just love the fact that you're saying Martha Washington is on a center fold. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate Good it. Time, Rick. Thank you, buddy. Corey, it's a pleasure. Thanks, Peter. Nice meeting you. Take care. If the shop is able to acquire this bill, I think it's a fantastic buy for them. They should have no issue selling it quickly. So the man said $1,500. Uh, what do you say, man? He said $1,500 was a fair retail value, okay. OK? And I have to make a living. So I'll give you 800 bucks. 800 bucks. Oh, man, you're kill me. Oh, you just got offered $800 for a $1 bill. Yeah, I, that I you get, found. I, I get you guys got to make a living, but come on, man. 1400 Tell you what, I'll give you a grand for it. I think it'll sell really quick, because they're talking about putting Harriet Tubman on the $10 bill now. So there's some more interest in this bill. Can you do 1200 man? I will go 1100 bucks. I won't go a penny more. That's what I can do. I did find it in the book, um, so I can't really complain about that. So, all right, deal, you guys, man. Come right. with me. We'll do some paperwork. Walked in the shop with a book and a dollar bill, and uh, now I'm leaving with eleven $1 hundred dollars in my pocket.